Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a very quick and easy Valentine's craft, which I just finished up this past weekend and I think it turned out super cute. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I did was make myself a heart template. The largest one is a two inch and the small one is a one inch. I then went ahead and transferred my design onto a thin piece of cardboard. I'm just using a cereal box <laughs> and it works perfectly. I also grabbed some yarn out of my stash and my glue gun. To get started, I added a little bit of hot glue to the back of my heart and then glued on the end of the yarn. Once the glue firmed up, I simply started wrapping the yarn around the heart shape, taking my time as I went to make sure that the yarn was laying nice and flat next to each other. And I continued this until the whole heart was covered with yarn. I found very quickly that this was a really fun project to do. Somehow sitting and wrapping yarn around the shape was a very soothing sort of thing to do and definitely something that you can do while you say watch a YouTube video which is what I did <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> I also caught up on my shows that I wanted to watch for the week. Once I had the whole thing covered with yarn I went around very loosely wrapped some yarn around the heart to kind of give it more of a textured look and I just kind of wrapped it around both directions a couple times and when I was happy with the look I wrapped the yarn around to the back side added a little glue to hold it in place and then waited for the glue to set up before trimming off the excess yarn. With so many different types of yarn on the market right now, you can really get creative and have totally different looks just switching up the different types of yarn you could use. I think it would be fun to use some of those um, multicolor yarns or the fuzzy kind or really chunky. I think it would look really fun and be super easy to do as well. And not only are they fun to make, they are fun to decorate with as well. I have gone ahead and tucked them into little displays around my house. Some of them are Valentine displays. Some of them are just normal displays that I would have out at any given time of the year. And it just adds a little touch of Valentine's to those areas. And I think it is so much fun. So go ahead and raid your yarn stash and empty those cereal boxes and get started making a few for yourself. Today's second project is to use the little hearts that we have made to make ourselves a wreath. I started out by making myself a wreath base out of cardboard. I cut two pieces of cardboard and glued them together so I'd have a nice, thick, rigid base to start with. And then I just went ahead and started placing the hearts around the circle so that I knew that they would all fit before I started gluing them down. As you can see, I had to readjust them just a little bit to make it all work, but it wasn't too much of a problem. And before you know it, I had them all situated the way I wanted them to be. Then I went ahead and placed the little hearts in between the larger hearts just to make sure that I had enough before I got started. And then it was time to start gluing everything together. I started with the large hearts Gluing each heart down one at a time, I realized quickly that I like to add the glue to the frame itself and then add the heart instead of adding the glue to the heart. I don't know if it really makes much difference, but it was a personal preference for me, so I thought I would let you know in case you would like to give that a try. Once the large hearts had been glued down, I laid out the small hearts in the order that I wanted to glue them down, then simply added a little bit of glue to the back side of the heart 
and then place it in the gap between the two larger hearts. I then went ahead and added a hanging hook to the back side of my wreath and that, my friends, is all that I needed to do to make this adorable looking wreath. Now of course you could add a bow or some ribbon to hang down from it but I wanted mine to look very streamlined so I just left it bare and I'm really liking the way that it turned out. I think it is so adorable and something that will look very cute once I get the rest of this area decorated for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed today's quick and easy Valentine's project. It was so much fun for me to do, and I highly encourage you to make yourself some as well. And I will see you next Friday for another DIY project.